That's right. I poisoned her. Ted. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for episode five of Supernatural season three, and the instant that I saw it was Ted. I wanted to make a joke that was referencing Skylar's line, which is, in my opinion, the best use of the F word throughout the entirety of Breaking Bad. Couldn't do that in the first 30 seconds, otherwise this video would have been hard demonetized. This episode is about the fairy tales, and honestly, every time I watch this one, it reminds me of the Wishing Well one, which I think happens either in the next season or in season five, and that episode is far, far, far better than this one. This one kinda sucks. The best part, about this episode is the end. There's a reason why when you look it up on Google, you find all of the screen caps of the end of the episode first, because this thing's boring. It's definitely up there with one of the most contrived ways of bringing the grim fairy tale story structure into Supernatural. And by contrived, I mean it doesn't make any fucking sense. There's supposedly this girl who's been poisoned since she was eight years old and because she's been in a coma, she now somehow has the ability to conjure up all of these things happening all over town that resemble the Hansel and Gretel stories that he's been telling. Which, by the way, is being told by a doctor who is one of the major doctors at this hospital, and people keep on coming in. No, 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 he either would never be there because he'd be working so goddamn long, or he'd be dead ass tired because of all the bodies he is inadvertently bringing into the hospital. I, I don't like the logic of this episode. I don't like the absolute stretch that they go to for this episode. This is season 13, 14, 15 material in terms of stretching for a storyline. It's not a good episode. The three guys being the pigs at the beginning was kind of funny, but then it turns sad with a guy being like, my brother's died. So it's like this kind of convoluted feeling about it. Then we see the Hansel and Gretel being killed by the granny. And in that part, I will admit seeing granny do this, well, this giant smile on her face was quite funny, even though it was just out there. And then the third one being the stepmother who doesn't even appear. The wolf is still going around, Wiley e. Coyote, and they don't even explain how he's... Nothing makes sense in this episode. The best part about this episode is the end because it kind of reflects back on what Sam wanted to do at the beginning of the episode, which is go after a crossroad demon with the cult. And the whole time Sam and Dean are just bickering back and forth about the idea of doing this plan and Dean just says, yeah, you, we're not doing it because I said so. And that's literally what he says, because he's the oldest. And so that's why I say the only good part about this episode really is the end because they try to throw this kind of contrived, oh, I've been holding on to her, but I really should let her go from Ted, fucking Ted. Which admittedly, that is definitely what you should do in times of like these, where we should let loved ones go, whether it be our family animals or our family members who are in pain and in turmoil and really honestly would be better off gone than to stay in a world of pain. But this episode don't talk about that at all. It's just a girl in a coma. And she looks pretty damn good for having been in a coma for 10 years, if I do say so. Where the hell's the logic in that shit? Either way, I don't like bedtime stories. The Wishing Well episode that will come up later on in the show is far better in terms of putting in an element of fairy taleism. Hell, even the episode about fairies. Which season was that? Was that six? Was that seven? I don't even remember. That episode is better than this one is. It's a lazy story. It's one of the worst ones hit by the writer's strike, and I'm kind of surprised considering I don't like this episode as much. The only part to watch is the end because of how cold Sam is. And Sam does that demon cold with just that slow sigh and then just bang. Best part. Start the episode and then skip to like the 40 minute mark and you're done. You, you've watched the episode all you need. So in the end, I'm going to give this episode a 2 out of 7. My God. Man, I knew I was gonna hit one bad episode in season three, but I didn't think it would be this early on. This isn't boding well for me because I didn't give a two to any episode in season two. All right, so the next episode review is Red Sky at Morning. And I'm gonna be honest, guys, I'm doing these real fast. I'm gonna try and do these episodes really quickly. So I actually can't wait for you guys to give me your comments and then put those in the next episode review because I might be leaving, heck, I might even be gone by now. So I'm gonna do the same as before to tell you guys to put your thoughts and whatnot in the comments below. And I will read those off 
in a separate video talking about the episodes of the season that I review. Just for the time being, I just really want to finish season three really quickly. And it's going to be kind of like those videos I've done where I've been reading off your guys' comments about my reviews for season 15 episodes. I still want you guys to give me your thoughts because I like reading off your thoughts. You guys bring up elements that I don't even see when I do episodes, but I just want to do this a little bit quicker. I want to give you guys a good base because if I go off to the island again, I put myself into that limbo where I can't do anything because I don't have my computer to edit. Like I said, just make sure to give me your guys' comments and I promise I will do a video maybe halfway through the season, maybe closer towards the end. So I hope you guys understand and I really do look forward to seeing what you guys have to say. Anyways, that's all for me. See you guys next time.